Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. So I know I'm supposed to be working on the bodywork of the car, but I actually don't feel like it right now. It's actually very dusty when I do that, and I don't feel like getting dusty. So what we're gonna do today is a little something different. We're gonna be working on the suspension of the car. So what I'm gonna do is actually be replacing some of the bushings on the car today. Um, as you know, it's a 30 year old vehicle. The bushings are pretty much shot on the car. I don't think they've ever been replaced. I took a look at the bushings when I was doing my engine swap and everything, and they're they've got cracks and everything in it um when i swapped my rear integra trailing arms in those trailing arm bushings were shot so i replaced those with the energy suspension so today we're actually going to be replacing some of the lower control arm bushings in the rear uh, i actually bought this whole big kit here uh, from Prothane. Um, this actually includes basically all the bushings you need to replace the full suspension in the car except for i guess the sway bar bushings and the upper control arm bushings for the rear so what I'm going, I, what I did was I actually ordered some um, sway bar bushings, and I've also ordered um, a camber kit for the rear to replace basically all those. So my whole suspension will be basically all like uh, polyurethane bushings and all that stuff. So today I'm just going to go through the steps of how to replace some of the bushings on the car. Um, I've already kind of attempted to take out the old bushings on a spare set of rear. Um, lower control arms from an Integra and I, I used like a, I guess a nut and bolt and some sockets and it didn't really work to try and press it out but I am going to try this method of using a rod and some nuts and bolts and washers to try and press out the lower control arm bushings. I'm going to go through these steps seeing if it works and I'll show you guys if that works or not. Um, they are really old so it's probably seized on there. The other thing I'm going to be doing if this doesn't work is I'm going to use um, a torch going to burn out those bushings and then I'm going to use a hacksaw and cut into the sleeve and, and then just hammer it up. But uh, hopefully it doesn't have to go do that. Uh, I'm hoping that I could just do this with some penetrating lubricant and hopefully I'm, I'm able to get the bushing up. But we'll see how it goes. So let's get to work. We're going to be working on the rear lower control arms. Alright guys, so first thing obviously you jack up the vehicle. Um, so there's only three bolts that hold the lower control arm, which is this one, this one, and this one right there. These two usually have, people have a lot of issues. This one's already been removed before because I did put my rear trailing arms in. You've also got, if you if you have a sway bar, that one right there will also need to be removed. So I'm just going to go ahead and remove these bolts first. And then once the control arm's out, we'll try and press out the bushing. There you go. That's out. That's out. And that's out. And there's the arm. Alright guys, so the top one here is my DA Integra uh, lower control arm and this one is my EF control arm. As you can see, this part is actually a little bit different. Um, they actually mount a little bit different. If you sit them on top of each other, they won't, like the length is about the same, the holes is, but you notice that this actually sits a little bit different. You see that is where the Integra one is and this is where the this is where the EF one is. So those are the differences. You really don't want to be using a DA Integra uh, lower control arm on your car. It might throw the geometry off a little bit. But then again, if that's all you have available, uh, I guess it doesn't hurt. It's still the same length. Um, and it's actually, the Integra one's a little bit beefier um, from what it feels like. But, you know, this is the EF one right here. The F1, and we're gonna be working on that one right now. All right, guys. So what I'm gonna be using is basically this socket here. It is a 36 millimeter um, axle socket, I guess. I'm gonna be basically cupping it, and then I'm gonna use um, this is a 15th, 16th um, socket that fits right over this nicely, like just over the lip. 
And that's what you want. You want it to just fit over that. Uh, if you were using a hydraulic press, this would be the socket to use and press it in. So this fits over it. So I'm gonna be doing this. And then since this fits nicely with, um, I could actually use this bolt and just thread it through. So I'm just gonna be fitting this with some more heavy duty washers. And then we're gonna try and press it out. Um, it's all hooked up. Uh, I'm just gonna get a couple breaker bars and make sure this is centered. And then um, crank at this and hopefully it just pops out. I actually didn't use any um, penetrated lubricant or anything like that. Um, I don't think it will penetrate the sleeve anyways. So let's just try that out. Laying down some cardboard because the lower control arm was scuffing up my garage floor. So the bolt broke here and this homemade tool barely even moved the bushing, but it did move it a little bit. Instead of using the torch and hacksaw like I planned, I decided to try smashing it out using a hammer and my sockets. There we go, the bushing is out. What a pain. All right, so I broke all my bolts and nuts that I bought to press just this one bushing out. So the other method is I was saying I was gonna burn it and then hacksaw it out, but it seemed, this method seems to work better. So what I did was I just put it on, put the 36 millimeter socket under. Then I grabbed a size um, socket, the impact socket that fits around here. And you just start whacking at it. And then as you can see, it's already coming out. So basically, if I had a bigger hammer, this probably be much easier, but I don't have that dinky hammer. So I'm just gonna keep smacking at this and hopefully, um, these other bushings will come right out. But uh, I mean, so far it's moving. And as you can see, it's actually coming right out. Um, so you just gotta get real aggressive with it. And there you go, second bushing out. <sighs> there you go. Because now you just clean up the sleeves so that you can put the new bushing in. Make sure all the rough edges are kind of taken care of. So I might sand some of this down since the hammer actually caused some rough edges because the bushing actually sits on top of here. So guys, um, figured out another method to get this bushing out, which still involves hammering, but it's a lot easier if you have this um, washer here. This is a, um, I guess, it's it's part of like the electrical conduit stuff. 
So it's a square washer. Um, you get one of these for about $1.50 at um, Home Depot. And then I used one of the, the, the 3 8 bolt that I had that snapped and um, put it on top. This actually saves your, your um, socket because if you can see, I destroyed the socket just getting out the bushings from the other arm. This is actually the passenger side now. So basically put it in there as a guide and they'll hold it in place and you just kind of anchor it, hold it, um, and then you just start whacking away. And this will start punching the, the bushing out of the, um, I guess the hole. So as you can see, it is coming out um, little by little. It, it does take a little bit of time for you to keep whacking at it and uh, for it to come out. So I'm still using a 36 millimeter socket on the bottom here. This socket, it might vary because each uh, socket maker is a little different. This is a 21 millimeter socket. Um, so, you know, your sockets might be different fit on here. So you just have to find one that actually covers up the lip. So with the bushing kit, you actually need two kinds of bushings because um, the kit usually comes with one for for uh, these bushings here and a, a separate set for th this bushing here. This is actually, I think it's called the strut bushing or something like that. But um, this is the one of them. It is the um, lower control arm ones. So this will just fill in these far two, the two corners. And then, this one will be the shock. It's the rear shock one. So this one will fill in the middle. And of course, if you're gonna replace your strut bushings. So with your polyurethane bushings, you would really wanna lube this up real well. You don't want them to squeak. I know I've read somewhere people using, um, uh, was it Teflon tape? But I don't feel like doing that. All right, so here are the bushings, and it comes with a nice little pin that goes in the middle. Good thing about these bushings is it's it's basically um, you don't have to press it in or anything. All right, so that's one, and basically it just goes in like this, and you just push it in, and it just fits right in there like that. And then do the other side. There you go. That is all nicely looped up. And you pop it on this side. And there you go. All right, and just pop the sleeve right in. And this is it. Basically, this is um, all the bushings installed with the sleeves and everything. Um, now it's just basically reinstall it in reverse order. Um, and you're done basically. Um, this didn't go as smoothly as I wanted it, but you know what? I managed to get it done with whatever tools I had. My socket is pretty bashed up now, but you know, that's lifetime warranty anyway, so that's okay. So I'm just gonna go and reinstall this and then um, I'll work on the other side. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you guys learned something. Um, it's, this is basically how you would install some bushings it's kind of ghetto. You have to <laughs> bash it out, but you know, uh, I don't. I didn't have access to a press, and I guess this is the best method I had. Um, so I'm just gonna reinstall this in reverse order, and basically that's it. Anyways, so if you're new here, please comment, like, and subscribe. Um, and as always, guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.